application of power law function in game score data using R statistics. Step 1. Load and read the CSV file. You may pause this video and copy the data on the screen or download the data in the provided link below. Step 2. Combine both minutes and seconds to a variable named time, which is in minutes. Step 3. Put the variable time inside the data frame. Step 4. Sort out the data frame using time in ascending order. Step 5. Plot the graph of score versus time. Load the required library ggplot2. As shown in the graph, the relationship of score versus time is a convex one going down as soon as the time increases. It can therefore be modeled using a power function. As shown in the following lines a power function can be transformed to a linear function by getting the logarithm on both y and x coordinates. Step 6. Get the logarithm of both score and time and include both variables in the data frame. Step 7. Plot the relationship again of the logarithm of time versus the logarithm of score. The graph clearly shows a straight line. Step 9. Apply a linear model. The model shows that the intercept and the log time are statistically significant with adjusted r squared at 0 0.7953. The equation can now be derived using the coefficient and intercept values. Using the equation, we can then find out the predicted score and graph the data again. The final graph shows the convex power law relationship between the two variables. Thank you for watching.